So what we're doing is we have a protocol set up in place with our staff members where any patients who develop or who present to the clinic with cough, fever, shortness of breath, um, they're asked to go into their vehicles and the visit is performed from their vehicle. So we take triage information, we register them over the phone, um, vital signs are taken in their cars and any testing that we deem appropriate would be done while they're in their vehicles. Um, so we keep the building free of patients with any respiratory symptoms or fevers. All right. It's a big change. Yes, it is a big change, but we're ready for it. We're prepared. We have all the necessary, you know, personal protective equipment. Um, staff members have been responding very positively to this, and it seems to be working well. All right, thank you. I'll hold on. And what's the tent out back? So the tent is for, um, we are working with the town of Pembroke to set up a site for testing for community members of Pembroke. Um, currently that's not active. We're looking to get that to be active in either no, Monday or Tuesday. Um, we're working on a telemedicine um, process where um, residents of the town of Pembroke would call into a telemedicine line and be screened to see if they would be eligible for COVID-19 hey, testing. Um, it's not a drive-by site. You would need to be pre-screened through telemedicine by one of our providers. Okay. Um, so has it been really busy? What's um, volume's been average. Um, we have seen, you know, several patients have presented to the clinic with symptoms that could be suspicious for COVID-19 and we have sent out several tests. Um, those test results are not back yet, um, but its volume's been average. You know, I've heard through research projections are going into the summer. Um, I am not, you know, sure what that means for the economy or, you know, our current way of life. Um, but we're like everybody else in the healthcare community. We take it day by day. Um, information is changing on a daily basis and yeah. we stay on top of that as much as we can. The best thing you can do for the safety of yourself, your family and the public in general is to stay home. Um, if you are feeling ill and you don't feel like you're in any respiratory distress, um, stay home and treat yourself as if you would if you had a cold. Um, symptomatic treatment, lots of fluids, lots of rest. Practice social distancing. Pretend you have a six-foot hula hoop around you is what I tell people. Um, you know, stay away from people with, you know, compromised immune systems um, and chronic medical problems. But really staying home and really adhering to those social distancing guidelines is the best thing we can do for ourselves. People need essentials. Um, you know, a lot of people still need, you know, groceries and medicines and people are going to be going out to stores. Um, but you want to try to limit those trips as much as you can and only get the essential items that you need. This is not the time to go, you know, window shopping and, you know, looking for your dress for a wedding in the fall, you know, essentials.